Whoa. Back off. Back off. I said back off. Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Today we're going to talk about an older Model 10 and the old Hunter holsters that Hunter used to make for Smith & Wesson. But first, safety considerations. Now, I only had two rounds because uh, two on target and then I'm aiming away from this burn. So I wanted you to understand that everything was done with safety in mind. Now, our self-preservation scenario was at five yards. And predators like to swarm, almost like sharks. You know, you've got the guy coming at you, distracting you. Then here comes the other to blindside you. Maybe they have a knife, a pipe, some type of bludgeon or even a firearm. The thing is, it's two against one. Now, the laws in your state may vary, but I can make a good case, at least in my own state of South Carolina, that me as a 61-year-old man will have a little trouble trying to fight off two attackers. Now, unfortunately, this is a right-handed holster. I'm a left-handed person. And even today, uh, it's hard to find left-handed holsters. And during my years in law enforcement in the 80s and the 90s, early 2000s, you know, I often had to go with a holster that wasn't suitable for being left-handed. So you learn how to improvise. And what this is is something called a cavalry draw where you reach in, you come up, and this one was to the hip. You know, taking that hip shot at close quarters. Actually, the target was five yards away, but by the time I'd have got the gun out, they'd have been right on top of me. Now, I don't necessarily recommend the cavalry draw, but, even in our modern times with the uh, high capacity uh, Super Wonder 9s and Kydex holsters in appendix carry, even a rig like this could still do you for self-defense in a pinch. Now the gun that we're shooting today is a Smith & Wesson Model 10 from 1977. And this is a very beautiful example of what Smith & Wesson used to do. Pin barrel, hammer on the firing pin. I don't know if you can see it or not, but serrated trigger, which helps with trigger control. Bull barrel. Now these grips are not the originals. I do have the originals. But these are some grips that I got from Thailand off eBay. And there's no company, you just basically have to uh, search, you know, Model 10 grips to find these grips. Now this is a very beautiful gun, it's a very accurate gun. And you could do a lot worse as far as a self-defense uh, implement should you need one. Now the holster is a Hunter holster. And it's got the Smith & Wesson logo. And these were made by Smith & Wesson or made by Hunter for Smith & Wesson. And my good friend Mark from Garage Guy 879 sent to this to me several years ago. And originally he had had a 2 inch snub nose model 10. But this holster is designed where it also works with a full size or a four inch model 10 and even better with a three inch model 10. 
Now in the last video I did, I had this on my side as kind of a punk on a lot of the uh, firearms review videos where they're reviewing some other type of handgun and then everybody has their trusty Glock or their trusty <laughs> SIG on their side. And I cut it out of that video and I had requests to put it back in. So I'll show you those uh, that clip as well. And you know, no offense against anybody because I like Glocks a lot. But you know, it seems kind of redundant to uh, be reviewing another handgun and then have something else on the side just like you can't, you know, carry the gun you're demonstrating. Now, in case you've noticed, I'm wearing this old Model 10, actually a very nice looking Model 10 from 1977. And you might ask, why are you wearing this gun in a snubby comparison video? Well, it's like this. I watch uh, different uh, firearms channels, sometimes some of my favorite channels, where the demonstrator will be demonstrating a certain uh, firearm, certain handgun, and invariably they always, on their side, they have a Glock 17 or a Glock 19, or sometimes a SIG or another pistol. And hey, nothing against Glock. I like Glock, but it's kind of, it always seems silly to me if you're demonstrating a gun, why not carry that gun? So anyway, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you, always be prepared for the unexpected.